How do you give a driverless car a driving test? Researchers have a new way to test out an AI's driving skills. It works by surrounding the car with other AIs, but these ones are virtual simulations and they've been trained to be terrible drivers. The world is waiting for the first fully autonomous car. Around 2015 or so, a number of companies announced that uh, they will be able to produce autonomous vehicle in mass amount by 2020. And, and now we are 2023, we do not have any commercial available autonomous vehicle yet. Henry Liu has been looking forward to his own driverless car for some time. In a true autonomous vehicle, you could play games on your commute, save on fuel costs, and send your kids off without worrying. It's dear to my heart because I have two young children. One is 17, one is 15. And if we do have autonomous vehicle at this time, then they don't have to drive and it will feel safer for them. But to make sure these cars are safe, we need to be confident that they can handle any situation they come across. And that takes a lot of testing. A major bottleneck for the autonomous vehicle development is the high cost and time required to test the safety performance. Just think about this. For human drivers, we might have accident for every half million to a, a, a million miles, a one fatality per a hundred million miles. So if you want to validate and the autonomous vehicle, the safety performance is better than human drivers, then statistically, you really need billions of miles. But you can't just let prototype cars loose on real roads, potentially endangering other road users. So Henry and his team in Michigan in the USA are developing a new kind of test to make sure autonomous vehicles are safe. They've combined a real test track with augmented reality obstacles. These obstacles are invisible to us, but feed into the car's sensors, so the AI reacts as if they were completely real. I was uh, one of the test drivers, um, and sometimes it could be a, a little nervous because the, the vehicle could perform a hot brake just to avoid some of the front objects. To really put the driverless car to the test, the virtual environment has to be full of challenges. You can generate all sorts of things, right? So you can generate animals, you know, a deer, a pedestrian, a bicycle list, and see how the autonomous vehicle react. These obstacles are generated by the team's AI based on real life data. But in a realistic simulation, dangerous events don't happen that often. So to really put the car through its paces, they skewed that training data to focus on the kind of dangerous driving which is not frequently seen, but could be deadly. We combine these safety critical cases together and that's why we call it dense learning, because we densify the information we have. Then we use this dense learning approach to train the surrounding vehicles, not the pre-trained autonomous vehicle, to learn that at what moment, perform what maneuver to challenge the autonomous vehicle. The result is a simulation filled with terrible drivers and surprising obstacles. And what's more, because these situations are generated by an AI and not programmed, they don't just perform a fixed set of challenging manoeuvres. They can generate dangerous events with variety and complexity and learn how to best put the autonomous vehicle to the test. That's why we call it AI against the AI approach. And our argument for this is that to test an autonomous system, you need a very intelligent test environment. This intelligent environment is already being used to test and even train some of the autonomous cars currently in development. We're hoping this technique can be broadly used for not only um, AV developers, but also for um, government uh, agencies because they want to make sure these autonomous vehicles are safe to be driven on public road uh, as well. And these cars won't just be able to drive as well as humans, but hopefully even better. Accident occurs mostly associated with human errors, um, you know, human under influence, or human being distracted uh, by reading cell phones while, uh, while driving. 
Henry hopes that his research could help developers fill the roads with self-driving cars far safer than human drivers. But for now, there's a little way to go before autonomous vehicles can pass their driving tests.